हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क बेसिकली एन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू फोर टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज एक्टिव एंड पैसिव नेटवर्क सेकेंड वन इज लीनियर एंड नॉन लीनियर नेटवर्क थर्ड वन is unilateral and bilateral network and the fourth type is lumped and distributed network so there are four types of electrical network first type is active and passive network next is linear and non linear network then unilateral and bilateral network and finally lumped and distributed network first let us understand what is active and passive networks if a network consists of a voltage source or current source in addition to passive elements such type of network is known as active networks if a network consists of voltage source or current source in addition to passive elements such type of network is known as active networks a network containing only passive elements is known as passive networks a network containing only passive elements are known as passive network this figure shows the active network which consisting of voltage source as well as the current source which are active elements along with the passive element which is resistors such type of networks where we are having both active elements along with the passive elements are known as active networks here you need to remember voltage source and current source are active sources this figure shows the passive network where it consists of only passive elements there are no active elements are present here now let us understand what is linear and non linear networks a circuit consisting of elements like resistor inductor and capacitor whose parameter are always constant irrespective of change in time voltage and temperature are known as linear networks a circuit consisting of elements like resistor inductor and capacitor whose parameters are always constant irrespective of change in time voltage and temperature are known as linear networks a circuit whose parameter change their values with change in time voltage and temperature are known as non linear networks a circuit whose parameter change their values with change in time voltage and temperature are known as non linear network so if in a circuit if the parameters are always constant irrespective of change in time voltage and temperature are known as linear network if the parameter of the circuit changes with respect to time voltage and temperature such type of networks are known as non linear networks now let us see unilateral and bilateral networks in unilateral circuit the relation between the voltage and current changes with a change in the direction of current example is diode where in forward and reverse bias condition the relation between current and voltage changes in bilateral circuit the relation between voltage and current remains same with change in direction of current so in bidirectional network or in bidirectional circuit the relation between voltage and current remains same with change in direction of current here we can give example as a resistor inductor and capacitor are bidirectional circuits here you need to remember that 
the network that contains r l and c are known as linear bidirectional network or linear bidirectional circuits next let us understand lumped and distributed networks a network in which physically separated r l and c can be represented is known as lumped network here we can say most of the electrical networks are lumped networks a network in which physically separated r l c can be represented are known as lumped network here you need to remember most of the electrical networks are lumped networks a network in which r l and c cannot be physically separated and also cannot be individually isolated such type of networks are known as distributed networks example for distributed network is a transmission line a network in which r l and c cannot be physically separated or cannot be individually isolated such type of networks are known as distributed networks example for distributed networks is a transmission line this is about classification of electrical networks hope you have understood the topic thank you